A few years back, a prominent Jewish charity in Los Angeles on the west coast of America was hosting their fundraising dinner and they flew over Shimmy Whitehandler, who is a very famous violinist based in Israel, especially for the occasion. He was billed as the main entertainment for the evening. Shimmy's friends picked him up from the airport in LA after his long flight and Shimmy placed two bags in the back of the car, his suitcase and his violin case. They arrived at his friend's house, he took out his suitcase, went into the house to get changed and they then drove together to the Herzog Winery which is about an hour outside of LA for the charity event. But when they arrived at the venue, Shimmy was in for the shock of his life. Why? Because he opened the boot of the car and the violin wasn't there. What had happened? Shimmy's friend had driven from the airport to his house in his wife's car and then from his house to the venue in his car. The thing is that in Israel, most families just have one car, so he didn't think to check that his violin was in the correct car. Anyway, there wasn't enough time for Shimmy to go back and collect his violin. He was just so embarrassed. He had been flown over, especially from Israel, just for this event with over 500 people. His first performance in America. And it all went horribly wrong. Shimmy flew back to Israel distraught, inconsolable and terribly upset. He thought that as the Jewish world is very small, word would spread and his good name would be permanently damaged. A year later, he was having dinner at home with his wife and he received an international phone call. He answered, it was the chairman of that charity asking him to go back to LA to perform at the upcoming dinner. Shimmy just couldn't believe it. He'd be given another chance. He jumped at the opportunity, went to LA and ended up giving one of the concerts of his life. I share this story with you all today because the Almighty, so to speak, flies us in from Shemayim. He flies us in from heaven into this world and he gives us a unique talent. Okay, so it might not be playing the violin. But Hashem gives us a talent and all that he wants us to do is to play our instrument, is to use our talent and add to the world in our unique way. And each year, it's as if we get another phone call from the chairman of the charity saying, OK, last year didn't work out, but I know that you can play and I still want to hear you. Hashem is telling us that he believes in us. He's giving us another chance. All he wants us to do is to play our instrument and add our contribution to the world. Regarding this point, the Torah says in Devarim in Deuteronomy chapter 30, It is not concealed from you, nor is it far away. Rather, it is very close to you and you can fulfill it. But I would also say that this year, because of COVID, Hashem still wants us to play our instrument, but perhaps... He wants us to play a different tune. But I think there's another lesson that we can learn from the Shimmy White Sandler violin story. Sometimes we need to be like the chairman of the charity who gave Shimmy a second chance. He knew he could play. He understood the mistake that had happened and he knew that Shimmy would not let him down, down again. Hashem does the same with us. He understands human nature and therefore we should do the same with others. I recently heard Rabbi Lord Sachs speak about this concept beautifully. He noted that if Yehuda of Judah wouldn't have been given another chance after the episode when he was intimate with Tamar, we wouldn't exist as Jews today. And if King David hadn't been given another chance after he sent Bathsheba's husband to the battlefront, then we wouldn't today have the book of Psalms. We too must learn to give people another chance, just like we ourselves would like to be given another chance. So in conclusion, from the story of Shimmy White's handler, from our tradition and from this time of year, we learn these two critical lessons. 
Number one, all that Hashem wants us to do is to play our instrument. And number two, we should encourage others to play theirs too. Shana Tova to you all.